Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus at the foundation, please? Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy at the Foundation. Okay, what do we have at the Sacral? Seven of Pentacles at the Sacral. What do we have at the Solar Plexus? There's an energy here, Taurus, where it feels like somebody was trying to... Okay, yeah, Eight of Swords at the Solar Plexus. It's like somebody was trying to do something. It's like they were trying to manipulate some energy so you wouldn't actually get this Ten of Cups energy at the foundation. This is like total love, support, contentment. This is like all your dreams coming true. But somebody here was doing something. Seven of Pentacles in reverse at the sacral. So this is like an energy where I feel like now they're realizing that they have to give up on whatever they were trying to do to you because you've already achieved this Ten of Cups. Or you're well on your way to this. It's just an energy that's like trying to hold you back. It's almost like an energy of like a, it's like a, a mother who doesn't want you to spread your wings and fly. Like this kind of energy, right? Eight of Swords at the Solar Plexus. I feel like there's some sort of karmic repercussions for this. It's like they didn't want you to grow. Wow. Five of Cups, Cancer Energy at the Heart. It's like you stepping into your power, you having happiness and fulfillment in your life is like a place of grief for them. They don't understand how this is actually how life works. It's like they're trying to block... It's like they're trying to block um, evolution. This is like an evolution blocker. But it's just showing up in a micro sense in your life. This is such a strange energy here. The world at the throat. This was some sort of a karmic cycle that they had you stuck in. This person here who did this to you is mentally ill. Okay, this is like um, a mother who has like Munchausen syndrome. It doesn't have to be a mother. It could be a father. It could really be anybody. But it's just an energy here who wouldn't let you go. But not for, not like there's ever a good reason, but it just, there was no, the love here that they think they had for you wasn't even love. It was something dark and demonic because it was a self-serving energy. Right? Whereas they don't see how you stepping into this Ten of Cups is actually a place of celebration. They're not seeing this Two of Cups standing right here behind them, right? They're not understanding this, that this is evolution. The world, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy at the throat. It's a fixed energy. They had you stuck in this cycle, I feel, for a very long time. I feel that for some of you, this lasted two years, five years, eight years, 11 years. I'm picking up those, those numbers right now. What do we have at the third eye? Third eye position, please. Lovers at the third eye. This is a balancing of you. For some of you, this is also finding your partners. It's like this individual here was blocking you from this. I almost get the energy like they didn't have access to this sort of high vibrational soulmate energy anymore based off of something they were doing in their life. Some sort of karmic cycle they were trying to keep other people stuck in. It's like a karmic cycle of misery, of no evolution. It's like a karmic cycle of just, I don't know. Ace of Swords at the crown. So this is all this mental clarity you've had around this. This was 
illuminated to you by the divine, though. This lover's energy at the third eye, this is a balancing of you. It's like you coming back to a calibrated version of yourself or a newly calibrated version of yourself because I feel that after you've moved on from this energy or since you've moved on from this energy, rather, you've calibrated. It's like you've calibrated your divine feminine, divine masculine energies, right? It's like you're a new version of yourself based off of this lesson that you had to go through to actually get here. It's like an energy of alignment. It's an en energy of balance. This is a godless individual here that didn't want you to follow your higher guidance, your intuition. What do we have at the foundation from the occult terror? See what demon was keeping my Taurus's root chakra blocked? Strength, vine, at the foundation. So this is an energy here of discord. It's an energy that they wanted to keep you in where you self-sabotage yourself. Isn't it interesting how we have this Ten of Cups and then you have this, like, dark demon riding this horse? This is them, and this is you. This is what they tried to keep you from. Builds towers or destroys stone, stone walls, causes rough waters, finds witches, right? So this is like some dark demonic witch this could have been your parents. I'm, I'm picking up a mothering energy here who wanted to keep you stuck in this karmic cycle or they wanted to turn you into what they actually are, just some dark demon. Ten of Swords, Malfas. This is you moving on from this energy. This was very painful for a lot of you. It wasn't painful to end this cycle, but it was painful to learn what this person was doing or these people. Builds houses and high towers. It almost sounds like this one. Builds towers, right? It's like they were trying to keep the walls really high, Taurus, so you wouldn't see what was on the other side. That there actually was this Ten of Cups energy out there the whole time. They're like, oh no, you don't need to go. You don't need to go beyond the wall. Just stay here. I'll keep you safe. You didn't even know any different. All you knew was this darkness that kept you stuck in. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, what do we have at the solar plexus, please? There's a confusing energy here. They wanted to keep you stuck in a place of confusion. The devil, Moloch, accepts child sacrifice. Boom. You guys could have been a literal child sacrifice. It's like they sacrificed your gifts, sacrificed your higher calling, your purpose in life for something that they wanted. They could have even done this before you were born. They didn't know any better. It's just like a, a weird kind of energy where they got themselves into something that they weren't able to actually... It's like, they got in, it's like they got in over their head. They gambled with your higher calling, your purpose. God, I just saw something in my peripheral vision. That was actually really weird. They don't want me to tell you this right now. What do we have at the heart, please? Heart position, please. So we have Seven of Cups, Cowardly Actions, Ose from the Occult Tarot. Then we have Seven of Pentacles, Nemamia, Discernment from the Angel Tarot. So we'll start here with the Seven of Cups. This is this... Um, illusion all coming to an end you're having clarity now on what's taking place here who it was that was keeping you stuck this entire time not allowing you to see your way forward it was this parent or authority figure in your life somebody who was influential you're starting to see now what they did to you and this is the energy you're stepping into this seven of pentacles energy this is you now just building this new life for yourself on the ashes of the old you're having discernment moving forward. You're understanding what's taking place here. And you're allowing the divine to illuminate your path for you moving forward. What do we have at the throat from the angel tarot? So we have the star, Vesaria, at the throat. 
clemency and equilibrium. So this is you now just stepping into this renewed sense of hope. It's all this clarity you've had around what's taken place here. All these miracles coming into your life now. A lot of you guys, I feel like, are in the spotlight, are going to be, or just, it's just an energy where you've just really taken control over your life, and there's just a lot of, it's just like a lot of hope. It, you feel like your life's a literal miracle having defeated whatever this karmic cycle was, right? Because you're seeing now how trifling it really was, how evil and demonic it truly was. And it's an absolute miracle that you made it out of this. Two of cups at the third eye, right underneath this lover's energy. So I do feel for a lot of you, there is some sort of love coming through. Lovers stack with two of cups at the third eye. Oh yeah, this is like about some sort of proposal, some sort of something, some sort of partnership. I feel that it's romantic. Lovers with two of cups stack like that. That's a, that's pretty clear. What do we have at the crown? What do we have at the crown? Six of wands at the crown. Okay, so with this six of wands energy, this is just you now in this just energy of victory. It's like you've taken victory over your life. These struggles that you had to come up against. It's like an energy of complete success. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.